the Undercity is a system of caves and tunnels under arc, persisting the foundation of the city. It is a place of misery, but here and there we find a spark of light and ingenuity. There's something in the Undercity which looks out of place. Actually many things, but I'm talking about these lamps. There is artificial lighting in the Undercity, something that at a first look would even seem like an organized system of cables. Lamps in the marketplace, lamps in the barracks. Hanging from the ceiling of the main cavern. Illuminating the Ralata corner of the arena. In the corpse pit. And all the way to the tar pit. And I doubt they've been installed by the good heart of the city council. Looking at the water wheels in the tar pit, I had to wonder if the undercity was producing electricity and if the system could be a leftover from the Parians. We see the same lamp at the excavation site in Old Dotulgrad, illuminating the riddle of the bells and a burnt corpse. But the lamp here looks as if it was installed by Lishari and her team, not a part of the ruin. So what's going on? Are these lamps Parian or what? We find the answer in the west channel of Ark, but only if we enter it from a door outside the city walls, east of Grandbeer's Mill. Here we see again one of these lamps, directed at a contortion of pipes, and a pop-up explains. A creation of a talented technician Barnabas. By positioning the bare crystals in the correct order, a strong radiance is born in the core, which is in fact similar to a sun. Barnabas. It may seem at first sight that this refers to the pipes, that they are a machine similar to the beacon or the sunfire, for which we may be able to find some crystals. But the machine the light is pointing to is just pipes, and the pop-up is above the lamp itself. A classic case of a finger pointing at the moon, but we actually need to look at the finger. Oh, Enderal. The lamp is the sunbeam, one of Barnabas' sunbeams as the poster on the wall below points out. We find this shop in the Undercity Marketplace, where he has installed some smaller versions. And we can see the crystals he is using to make the lamps. From the gear in front of his desk we can deduce he also maintains this other type of lamps. Does he do it pro bono? Oh, well met. Did he study Parian techniques? A curious one, aren't you? I hate to say it, but a good grader never reveals his secret, son child. What's interesting is that the Holy Order is buying from him and his prime equipment. We see the sunbeams put to great use also in the various mines of Enderal. Who said nothing good comes from the Undercity? The Undercity is more than what it seems, and it's definitely worth to take a second and third look at these details, as small and irrelevant as they may appear at first. Nothing in Enderal is without logic or reason, even the stones tell a message, and it is for us to read it.